Hey, hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we'll learn how to play my finger style arrangement of Just Like Heaven. So, the main kind of riff goes like this. And then you get. Okay, so really it's just four chords. A, E, B minor, A, and D. And um, that's the vast majority of the song with um, the exception of the, of the bridge. But here, so let's take out the bass note to start off and let's just learn that. What's going on here? So on the A chord, we're playing the, on the high E string, the ninth fret and on the second string we'll play the tenth fret. Okay, and so you're gonna play that three times. And then we go down to the seven on the high E and the nine on the B. Okay, so and I'm kind of like strumming because in my picking in my picking hands, so if you look, I'm really just using my index finger and sometimes I'll play these two fingers to play this, the two strings. So I'll probably start with two fingers. But then I'll strum. Uh, yeah. Like that. But anyway, so we're on the ninth fret. And then we play that one again. And then down two more frets to the five and the seven. So you get. Like that. Okay. And then five, uh, four on the high E string and five on the, uh, on the B string. We play that three times and then down two frets. So you're playing the second fret on the high E string and the third fret on the B string. Play that twice and then an open high E string and second fret on the B string. So that's. So just picking. And then. Okay. Again, you know, really, I'm strumming for the vast majority. Okay, so that's the kind of the melodic part. The bass is going so one, two, and three, four, and on the open A string, and then on the same on the low E string, one, two, and three, four. So you pluck it, then a light percussive tap, and then and three and then four light percussive taps again. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And I'm muting it. So then you just have to put the two together. Okay, so obviously it's gonna be on the first one. And then on the third one here, one, two, three, or one and two, you're gonna do a tap. So you wanna strum down and get a tap there. And then on this first one here, seven and nine, you'll play a bass with that, and then a bass on its own, and then you're gonna play the high E string again, so. High E and B string. And then on this one here, you'll strum down and play a tap, so it's on the five and seven, tap, so like, really slow. Okay, and then exactly the same here. Sorry. Like that. Okay, now if that's too hard and you really don't like the double bass, then just play singles. So bass, tap, bass, tap. Or change it to to however you like it. I mean, it's up to you, really. It's a thing style arrangement. Plenty of room for manoeuvre. So anyway, that's... That's that part there. After that, it just goes to a B minor. And then a D. So on the B minor, we get to a B minor, hold that down, and I'll play the fifth, the third, and the second string together. And then I'll strum down, that'll be with a tap. And then two basses. 
but on the second bass you're going to get the uh, the G and the B in there, like that. But on the B, play the second fret this time, so. And then play those two strings again, the second and the third, but put the second finger back onto the third fret of the B string. So you get tap, and that should be minor. And then we go to a D, and I'm playing it like this. Okay, kind of like a D, it's like a D6 almost, because your B open B string, that's your melodic note here. So I'm holding down the 5th fret on the A string, the 4th fret on the D string, and then the 2nd fret on the G string. And what I'll do is I'll play the, um, as I said, the open B and then the G string 2nd fret together. So... On the and of 4. Then we're going to play the bass note, A string 5th fret, and then up again on the same two strings, the G and the B. Okay, so... Tap, and then I'll play finger held down just like that. I'll play the third and the fifth string together. That's followed by bass on its own, open B string, and then a little strum, mainly targeting the fourth and the third string, and that'll be a tap. So that's what's going on there. with the B minor. And as I say, if that double bass is really tripping you up, you could just play. You could play it like that. So we've got. Okay. Um, and then that all goes around again. And then the second time, after that you'll get. That's good. Then that goes back into there. So it's the same chords, we've got this really nice build up. So I bar an A shape like this, just a regular A, second fret. And um, I'm going to play that three times on the second and third string. And then on the fourth stroke, make it a sus. So you're going to play the third fret on that P string. So yeah. Then we play those two again, and then stretch up and play the fifth fret on the B with the second still on the G. So, and then you can add your bass. Like that. Okay, still good then. Or single notes if that's easier for you doesn't really matter. But then we go out to our E shape, which is like this. So I'm barring the fourth fret there on the first, second, third and fourth string, holding down the fifth fret on the second string and then the sixth fret on the fourth string, even though we don't play that note, so you don't really need to hold it down. But I do anyway. So here, then you want to stretch your pinky up to the seventh fret on the B string, so you don't even need this finger. It's just habit because that's the shape of the chord, um, the regular E chord. So what we'll do here, holding that down, is I'll play the seventh fret on the second and the fourth fret on the third, three times, and then fingers held down just like that, then I'll play the first and the second string, so. Okay, so. And we'll play that one twice. And then what you want to do is play the fifth fret on the um, first string with the seven on the B still. So you get like, and I just kind of push that knuckle the wrong way around. But you could just plonk it down like that. So we've got. Okay, and then we go up to our B minor. This time we're playing it on the seventh fret, and really you just want to bar that. You could play it like this, however you want to do it. But I'm barring the seventh fret. And on the seventh fret, we're going to play on the first and second string one, two, three, both seventh fret. And then add the ninth fret on the um, high E string, 
and then you can play it twice, so like, and then push that ninth fret up to the tenth. See again. Like that. So, and then with the bass. Okay, so we've gone. And then we've got this. So this is a D shape and I'm playing it like this. So 10th fret on the 1st, 2nd, 11 on the 3rd string, 12th on the 4th string and then thumb round the back to play the blah 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 10th fret. That's how I'm playing it. So the melodic notes are 10th fret on the 1st and 2nd string, but then push that high E string up to the 12th fret and play that three times and then lift off back to the 10th fret and then again 10th fret three times after that just strumming up down up so like and then wrap your chord around it so bass or if the bass is awkward Okay, so that whole section there. And then that just goes back to. Just does that once more. And actually coming out of this, the last time I'll just play a D. Because that allows me to get into the, the verse much easier than being in this shape here. Okay, so it will come out D and then into. Okay, so that's how you play kind of the, as I said, the, the main riff to this arrangement. If you want to learn the whole lesson, as always, that is available on the website. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just follow the links through down in the description and you'll get the rest of the lesson right away. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com where you can get the remainder of this lesson and loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons.